hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about html form elements so inside the html form we can have so many different elements so first of all we have the input element so the input element is one of the most used form element and the input element can be displayed in several different ways depending on the type of attribute it has so the type can be text or it can be radio button or also it can be one checkbox and also we can make it as one submit button or we can make it as one simple clickable button and next we have the label element so the label element defines a label for the form elements so the for attribute of the label element should be equal to the id attribute of the input element to bind them together like an example we have the label called my label right after the label we can have one input element so we have to assign one id to the input element like my id and now inside the for attribute we have to assign the same id to bind these two together so now the label and the input element are binded together now if we click on the my label then we can have the focus of the input field and this way the level element help the user having difficulty clicking on a very small region and next we have the select element so the select element defines a drop down list so inside the select element we can have the option like option 1 option 2 so this way we can have multiple options inside the select element and it will create one drop down where we have multiple options so by default the first item in the drop down will be selected but we can pre-select an option so we have to add the selected attribute and this way by default that specific element will be selected and also we have the size attribute and the size attribute specify the number of visible hello so the size can be 3 and this way we can make 3 items visible in the drop down and next we have the multiple attribute so the multiple attribute allows the user to select more than one value so from that drop down list we can select more than one value so next we have the text area element so the text area element defines one multi-line input field and it has the column and the row attribute so we can define the number of column and the number of row our text area is going to have so next we have one button element so the button element defines one clickable button so next we have the field set element so the field set element is used to group related data in a form and inside the field set element we can use the legend element to define a caption for the field set element so we can add the caption like my caption so this way we can add the caption to the field set element so next we are going to talk about the data list element so the data list element specifies a list of predefined option for an input element so inside the data list we can create our list so we have the option so inside the value attribute we should have the options like option 1 option 2 option 3 and this way we can define all of those different options for the data list so we have created one data list now we're gonna add one id to the data list like my list now we can add this data list to one input field so now we're gonna create one input field now inside the input we're gonna use the list attribute and we're going to bind the data list to the input field so we're gonna add the list as my list so the id of the data list should be equal to the list attribute value and this way we can bind the data list to the input field so this way the user will see a drop down list of predefined options as they 
input the data so if we input the data then we can see one drop down list and we can select one option from the drop down and next we have the output element so the output element represent the result of a calculation so this is the way we can use so many different form elements inside the form to create one html form to take the user input so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you